What's up everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. Today's video is going to be a pretty interesting one. All about a couple of Sentinel weapons that can give your damage output a fairly major boost. Now I know I've done a video on the Cryotra before about it being top tier support, but I missed a fairly key thing with this weapon that makes it even better. The point of this video was pretty much me playing around with Sentinel weapon setups when I noticed something. The set bonuses from set mods on your Sentinel weapon still apply to everything else. Take the build I'm showing now. For my Cryotra, you can see the four dual stats on there from where I was using it to be my condition overload booster. Well now you can also see that I have four of the Vigilante set mods on here too. That's right, the Cryotra counts as a primary weapon and can equip these and the bonus will carry over onto your other primary weapon, your actual primary weapon. What this means is that from the Cryotra alone, you have a 20% chance for your crit to upgrade a tier. Yellow to orange, orange to red, each coming with an upgrade in crit damage. Cryotra is not there for damage, we know that, it's awful at it. But what we can do is hold on to these mods for effectively a free 20% chance to upgrade your crits without compromising your actual primary weapon at all. Even better, if, if you can have the same mod on your Cryotra as your primary, it will still count towards boosting those set mods. For example, if you have the same Vigilante offense on the Cryotra and then on your primary, it will increase your set mod bonus by one. It does have to be two separate mods, because you can't have the same exact mod in two places at once. But you know, Vigilante Armaments is used on a ton of builds and is super easy to get. It means that you're always going to have a 25% chance of upgrading that crit, provided your Sentinel is still alive. The thing is though, even if the Sentinel dies, it's not exactly a big deal, because everything on your Sentinel weapon is... I mean, it's completely and utterly free. You're not basing your entire build around it, so with it gone, you're just losing free damage that you wouldn't have had anyway. You know what's even better though? Switch your Sentinel to Helios or his Prime. Put Deconstructor is, and now we have a platform for you to stack Gladiator mods. On paper, doesn't look quite as effective as stacking Vigilante mods, because you can only use three on it. But that is still a free, extra, 45% crit chance, which works like Blood Rush and increases as your combo counter increases. Even better, this stacks with Blood Rush, so you can imagine just how powerful this is. Combine it with a couple extra Gladiator mods on your frame or your melee, suddenly you would have an extra 90% more crit chance on top of the 165 from Blood Rush, and yeah, you can see things get very silly very quickly. Even if you don't put those extra mods on though, a free 45% crit chance that goes up with your combo counter is really, really nice. Even if your Sentinel dies, again, you don't really lose anything because it is simply free. So honestly, that is two ways of amplifying your damage in either your primary weapons or your melee weapons effectively for free. It does restrict you to using your Sentinels, but that's hardly a hardship. Whether or not this is an intended interaction, whether it stays or not, I have no idea. However, while it is working, it is well worth using right now. Let me know your feelings on this in the comments below. Many, many thanks for watching. Hit that like button, sub for more Warframe, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I shall catch you in the next one.